Hey everybody. So, Stable Video Diffusion was released by Stability AI for free fairly recently. What it does is basically takes an image and creates an animation like the one at the start of this video. It can be compared to the likes of Pika Labs and Runway ML. However, it is still early in the development phase as it has no prompting as of yet. AI tools are developing at the speed of light these days, and I imagine it won't be a long wait. Stability AI are the ones developing this model, and you can see on this page they have some of their example animations. They also have an interesting chart that compares SVD with Runway and Pika. I'm not sure exactly how this study was handled, but they show themselves equal to or even edging out the competition. Take that however you will. I will say that the animations when they work, can look amazing. But, without prompting, I can't say I agree just yet. But again, we are also talking free versus paid services. And even though this can be tricky, it is pretty great for being free. So to get started, I'm going to use Comfy UI. You will need to have this installed either manually or through a program like Pinocchio, which already has a nice one-click installer. If you can't run this on your machine, then you can use online versions, such as Google Colab. I won't be going into how to install Comfy UI in this, as that should be a separate video. For now, I will assume you have used Comfy UI and you just want to jump into SVD. There is a link in the description to get to this page where you can find the two models. Here you can find this link that takes you to here. You can click this download button for the SVD model that will do 14 frame images Naming it SVD14 will help keep track. Put them with all your other stable diffusion checkpoints, then go to the other one. Download again. And this one will be for 25 frames. So naming it SVDXT25 will be helpful. Believe me. Hit save. I'm hitting cancel since I already have them. The last thing is to right-click the workflow and save as this is the basic workflow for SVD that we want to use. Then we can start Comfy UI. First thing you will want to do is update Comfy UI through the manager. Once done, close out and restart Comfy UI and everything should be ready to go. To get started, we will drag and drop the JSON file we downloaded. Then go and delete this. Double click, type VHS, click VHS Video Combine. If you don't have this, just go into manager, install custom nodes, type VHS in search, then install the Video Helper Suite. You might have to restart Comfy UI again after that. Okay, we are going to pick our model, SVDXT25. Make sure we change the video frames to 25, since that is what this model is for. Choose our picture. Right now the best size to use is a 1024 by 576 but a square 576 will work. I'm going to turn the frame to 10. I'm also going to set it to MP4, then change seed to fixed. This way I have control over the outcome. Then Q prompt and let it go. Not bad. Now all of these settings are still being tested. And from what I have found out myself and from others much smarter than me is this. I leave the min CFG alone and change the case sampler CFG between 1.1 to 4. Having it at 1.1 is good for little movement and small animations. Leave the steps at 20. The motion bucket affects the amount of motion in the scene. Starting out low is good, 5 to 10 for small movements, like a character idle. 100 to 200 for big movements, again it varies, and you just have to try it yourself. FPS is a little misleading. A low number will give you faster movements, but less detail, and higher values give you less movement but more detail. Use a range between 1 and 12. Augmentation level adjusts the amount of noise to the initial image, which doesn't quite explain this setting as I get varied results from very little adjustments. It's something you have to mess around with, so I will raise the augment by 0 0.02, and retry this with the motion bucket at 5. Nice, a little subtle animation. I will leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed this and it helped you a little getting started with SVD. Thanks.